lines I think we have done it all She knows me in and out Love of a different kind But we still have no control Cause when the daylight comes We're just good friends Baby, good friends hanging on When the daylight comes We're just good friends But like lovers So good for words That's why we don't get that far But she still reads my mind So we can follow through Always let our bodies talk Cause when the daylight comes We're just good friends Baby, good friends Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. It is bright and early in the morning. It's actually 5.53 a.m. And as you saw, I already made my coffee. I put my normal supplements in my coffee. I've been getting a lot of questions on what goes in my coffee, so I showed you guys in today's video that I put my Garden of Life Fit Biotic, I just buy that off of Amazon, and my collagen for her collagen peptide, which is my go-to collagen. It is made specifically for women. So I find that for me, it's even more effective than, say, Vital Proteins from Costco because the collagen for her is made for us, for women. It's more affordable than the Vital Proteins, and I I actually just got an email from them that they are having a huge Memorial Day sale. So I went ahead and pulled up the email here on my phone so I can share with you guys what the Memorial Day sale is. So it's actually going to run today through Monday, which is Memorial Day, and they'll be featuring multiple bundles that are marked down between 15 and 35%. That's amazing. And any order over $50 will automatically include the Collagen Volcanic mud mask for free. That's a $25 value. That mud mask is so good, you guys. So, so good for your skin. We know how important collagen is for skin in general. These just came back in stock and sell out quickly. So that's the collagen for her Memorial Day sale. I love it. You guys know I've been using it in my coffee now for well over a year, and I have seen drastic difference in my hair, skin, nails, elasticity in my skin. Actually, a lot of you have reached out and asked why I don't have as much loose skin as I should after losing over 100 pounds. And honestly, I attribute it to genetics, but I also attribute it to having collagen in my coffee every day for several years now and collagen for her for well over a year. I love the little to-go packets. I take these with me when I travel or if I go grab a coffee on the road. I love having the little packets because you can ask the barista to put it in the coffee for you. So it actually makes it really convenient to even get your collagen in on the go, which is something I love that collagen for her feature. So anyways, that is what is in my morning coffee. However, I am not drinking my coffee yet because I am on my way. For the first time since moving to Arizona, and actually for the first time since prior to the Panini, I am on my way to a Weight Watchers meeting. I know. It's actually really exciting. So let me explain why I'm going. So I made a deal with one of my coaching clients. She was saying that she really needs the extra accountability of the WW workshop. And I said, hey, I'll make you a deal. If you start going to the meeting in your area, which is like a 30 to 45 minute drive for her, same as it is for me, I will make you a deal and I will start going to the WW meeting in my area for accountability and we'll use it as support for each other. So that's why I'm going. So I'm headed to my my very first WW workshop in Tucson. I'm going to weigh in. My plan is to go on Saturday mornings at the 7 a.m. meeting or the 8.30 meeting, just depending on which one I can get to. I'd actually like to go to both and see how I relate to the leader of the meeting and kind of see which group I like better, where I'm more comfortable. But 
that's where I'm headed. I'm heading to my meeting. So I'm saving my coffee until I weigh in. I'll share with you guys my weigh-in. Now, it's only been a couple days since my Friday weigh-in where I weighed in for you guys here on my channel like I do every single Friday, but I'll still share my weigh-in with you. And then while in Tucson, we're going to run some errands. I really need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's to pick up some more storage bins for our garage since we got that new rack installed in our garage that I shared with you guys in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then I really want to go to Ross or Marshall's store like that, maybe even a TJ Maxx in Tucson, because I always end up going to the one in Green Valley. But I'd like to see what they have in the Tucson area. So basically, it's going to be a morning of running around. And then I have a coaching call this morning and we'll head home because my FabFitFun box is supposed to show up today. And I also have real estate class from 1 to 5.30. I did bring the Think protein bar in lemon with me. Actually, lemon delight. And this is probably going to be my breakfast. So I'll sip on my coffee with my protein shake at the meeting. And then since I'll be out for a while, I brought a protein bar just to be prepared. Always be prepared. I am here. It's funny. It still says Weight Watchers. Even back in Washington, all the signs had been changed to WW. But when I napped myself here, I said, navigate me to Weight Watchers. And it said, I'll navigate you to WW. So I'm here. This is is the entrance to the studio. It's in just a strip mall in central Tucson. So hopefully it goes well. Hopefully the leader is good and the people are nice. Honestly, I'm a little nervous because it has been a couple years since I've been to a WW workshop and it's been that long since I actually logged my weight in the WW app because I actually keep track of my weight and lose it. So they're probably going to be like, how did you lose 80 pounds since you were here last? So this is going to be interesting. So wish me luck. It's time for a car wash. It has been way too long since I've washed my car. As soon as I get out of the car wash, I'll fill you guys in on how the WW workshop went. So the workshop went amazing. I have a nice clean car, which is exciting. I got so much bling at the workshop. So the last time that I weighed in at a WW meeting, like I mentioned, was prior to the pandemic. So I've actually lost 81 pounds since the last time I weighed in at an actual WW meeting and tracked my weight. So I got all my charms up to 75 pounds, which was so exciting. The leader was fantastic. She was adorable, spunky, made it really fun. The people were really nice. I got to introduce myself, talk a little bit about all my bling, and I can't wait to go back. So my intention, my intentions are to go every week when I'm in town. I do have quite a few things coming up travel-wise, but when I'm in town, my intention is to go. So it went really well, and I can't wait for next Saturday. So I'm at Home Depot. I'm actually in a little shopping area in Tucson called Spectrum. There is Ross, Marshalls, Burlington, a store called Kirkland's, which I've never been to. It is only about 10 after 8 in the morning, so we're heading into Home Depot to pick up some bins for the garage, and then while we're in Tucson, we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. So these are the bins that we want, these black ones with the yellow lids. So I think I'm going to get quite a few of those and I'd really like a long bin as well for some of my longer Christmas decorations. So five 27 gallon and then I got this really long one. So cute. Well, I'd say Ross was quite the success. So I decided not to go to Marshall's since I had massive success at Ross, but I am gonna run into the Dollar Tree before I head home, and then when I get home, we'll do a Ross haul. Okay, so I'm home, and I'm gonna share with you guys first what I grabbed at the Dollar Tree, just some very random things, and then we'll go to the Ross haul. So I picked up some foam paint brushes. I thought we needed these, apparently we don't, but Troy's just gonna throw them in his toolbox. I also grabbed the LA Colors Felt Tip Liquid Liner. 
Don't sleep on this. It's the best liquid liner and it's $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. I love it. They have brown, blue, and black. So I went ahead and picked up black. I also needed some small little barrettes. I've been, if you notice, like wearing my hair up a lot or at least the pieces around my face just because it's so hot here. And I thought this was a great deal for $1.25. Some envelopes because I'm almost out. Three toothpaste for Troy. I actually really like the Theory toothpaste that you buy at Target and I think is where I normally get it. But these are $1.25 a piece, so I just grabbed a few to stock up. And an unsweetened iced tea, which I've been sipping on because I was super thirsty. And this is from the brand Front Porch, and it's really good. Now for Ross, I got a lot. I told you I hit the mother load at Ross. Everything I'm going to show you was $90, which is an incredible, incredible deal. I grabbed quite a few clothing items, lots of stuff for the dogs, just a couple of random things. The first thing that I picked up is this t-shirt for Troy. It has a hula dancer on the back and says pale sunrise ale. And he likes to have these and sometimes cut the sleeves off of them. And this was $11.99, which I thought was a really good deal. And then I picked up this little dress. You guys, this was on clearance for $5. 99 it is a size large i love the mustard color of it and it has this really pretty floral pattern a tie around the waist it, it does have quite a big v but there is a few buttons so i don't think that it's going to show too much and you can't beat it for 5.99 also in mustard i picked up this cute little skirt i thought this was adorable this is in a size medium and it was $10.99, which I thought was a great deal. And what I like about it is the length. So it's going to go right above my knees. And I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'8". So I like that this wasn't super short and you couldn't pass up the deal. Next up is this cute tank top. I love the pattern on here. It's kind of a paisley pattern. The back actually ties and has a little keyhole. And I thought this would be really cute with some denim shorts or a skirt. And this is a size large and it was $8.99. This is the shirt that I showed you guys in the store. I love the color. You know that I have been really, really into orange. This was the most expensive item that I bought. It was $16.99, which isn't bad because it is a Mark New York shirt, which is a, a brand that sold at stores like Macy's. And I love the ruffle detail of the sleeve. And it's just a little bit more of a dressy shirt. I'm really excited about it. And I think this is the last clothing item. And this is a vest. I'll put it on and show you guys. This was $9.99. It's in a size large. I love the little mesh sides and then it also has the mesh in the back and I thought that that would be cute over little summer dresses, sundresses, or even over shorts. And again, it's a size large $9.99. I did grab a Voss water. This is the vitamin D water. So it has like some citrus essence. It was $3.29. I wanted to try it. I'm going to throw it in the refrigerator. And I picked up two of the same babies for Palmer. Ross is my favorite store for dog toys because they're cheap. These were $2.99 a piece. I know that they're the same, but Palmer loves to shred everything. You'll notice a pattern. All of the toys have a squeaky, but no stuffing because if there's any stuffing, he immediately plucks it. So I grabbed two of those and I also got a new glass sealable jar for the treats. The dog treat jar fell and shattered all over the counter and floor the other day. It was the same jar. This was $3.99 and I keep all the dog treats in here. It just keeps them a little more fresh. Bag number two has lots of dog toys. So this little cutie right here was $3.99. Again, no stuffing, just squeakers. Now this one I think is adorable. This is an animal plant at one. It was $3.99. I thought it had stuffing, but it has the crinkly and he really likes that. He will most likely rip the arms and legs off, but you can't beat $3.99. And then I got this little guy also for $3.99. It has like the water ball bottle in the belly and then squeakers in the tail. No stuffing. Huge win. And then I always buy dog treats as well. These are the Republic air dried chicken apple and peanut butter bones. These were $3.99. And then I got the Jack and Pup brand. These are the bully stick jerky. These were on clearance for $5.49. The treats and the toys, amazing at places like Ross, TJ Maxx, and Marshall. So that's everything. I got all of that for $90. Hey, did mommy get you something at the store, Palmer? You want new babies? You want a new baby? Oh, Palmer! <gasps> Yay! Oh, 
everybody is interested in the new baby. He usually gets the zoomies when he gets a new toy. <gasps> oh yeah, buddy, that's so cool. Go show Lola. Go show Lola. Here's lunch today. I am hungry. All I had is my coffee and that protein bar. This is my barbecue chicken bowl that I made in my meal prep. I've been loving having bowls because I have a nice healthy carbohydrate with the sweet potatoes. The barbecue chicken is so good and then lots and lots of veg with the broccoli. So this recipe is on my recipe website. It is always linked down in the description box, but this is my lunch for today. Look what is here. My FabFitFun box for summer. I'm an annual member of FabFitFun. I have been for a couple of years now. I love this box. Because I'm an annual member, I actually get to curate this entire box. I get to pick everything that is in here. I will go ahead and put the price here on the screen. It is a quarterly box. It's seasonal. So it's four times a year. And again, if you're an annual member, which means you pay for the whole year, you get to curate the entire box. So I like to do that. And in this particular box, not only did I pick everything, but I have some add-ons. When you pick your items, you can actually add on extra items that were options or choices for really affordable prices, like 10 or $12. The box is super cute with the ice cream cones on it. You always get the little FabFitFun magazine, and in here it's going to tell you about the items in your box. Here's a little sneak peek, and let's start digging in. We did get the cute little typical FabFitFun stickers. These are pretty cute. I don't usually use them, but they usually, they have them in most of the boxes. And then there is pass this along to a friend. So in the description box, I'll link FabFitFun. If I can find a discount or something for you on their website, I'll link that for you guys as well so that you can get a deal on your first box. And the first person to enter this code and sign up for FabFitFun will get $15 off their first box. So if you're interested, Drop this code down, and again, this is going to be only the first person who uses the code on the back of this card. So the first thing in my box was an add-on. So this is one of the choice items for the box, and I ended up choosing something else, but then like I mentioned, you can add things onto your box for really affordable prices. And this is from the brand Free People, and this is a little bralette. It is super, Super duper cute. It is a pink color. I got a size large, extra large, which looks like it's going to be perfect. So I did decide to go ahead and have this as an add-on. Another add-on is from Tula. I really like the Tula skincare. And this is the Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen. I have always put sunscreen on my face every single day, but even more importantly, now that I'm in Arizona and it's sunny every day, I am all about sunscreen on my face. And this was an add-on and again, an incredible deal. You, Like I said, these little add-on things are usually $10 or under, sometimes 12 or 15, depending on the item. So I added on the Tula sunscreen. And then I think this was my final add-on and these are some super, super cute barrettes. This is from the brand Pocus Pocus. And I want to say these were maybe like five or six dollars to add these on. And I've been wearing my hair up a lot, like I told you guys in the Dollar Tree haul that I bought the barrettes because I've been pinning back these front pieces a little bit more just because it's so hot here. Ooh, these are really nice quality. So there's a tortoise and kind of a pinky peachy barrette. Yeah, these are really, really nice. So these will come in handy. Now, everything else are my items that I chose for my box. And of course, I don't remember what I chose because it was quite a while ago. There's always some coupons. And then it looks like, ooh, we have a liquid IV sample in guava. So this is just a little add-on in the box, a little freebie. So the first item I chose is a makeup product from Illamasca. And this is their gel, gel sculpt. This is a contour stick. I love contour. I use contour sticks every single day. I did go ahead and get just a really, really deep color, which will be perfect for contouring. I feel like this is a freebie too. I know I didn't pick this. This is from the brand KO and this is a body scrubber. Now I really like these silicone body scrubbers. You know the loofahs, they can harbor a lot of bacteria. So I actually use a silicone one in the shower every time I take a shower. I bought mine off of Amazon. So again, I think this was thrown in because this was definitely not something I chose even though I'm happy to have it. The next item I chose is a multi-purpose wrap and I actually chose this as a swimsuit cover up or a swimsuit wrap. It is so 
so adorable. They had several sizes. They had straight sizes, plus sizes. Mine is just the one size fits all straight size. Look at how cute this is. It has green leaves on it with a pop of a peach. And again, this I plan on using as a swimsuit cover up. You could use it really as any type of wrap. You could even use it as a scarf. I think it's so fun with this tropical print and the quality feels really nice. I also chose cuticle oil. Now I know that might seem kind of weird, but I actually use cuticle oil on my nails every single day. And I'm almost out of the one that I picked up from BoxyCharm. So this is the cuticle oil revitalizing milk and honey. It's from the brand Cachio Naturals. So I'm excited to have this since I'm almost out of the one I use daily. Of course I had to choose jewelry. You guys know my love for jewelry. This is from the brand Sanctuary Project and you got to customize what color chain you wanted and what stone you wanted on your necklace. So I chose a gold chain and kind of a rose gold stone. It is sort of a 3D circle. I absolutely love, love, love this. And anytime there's jewelry in FabFitFun, I generally always pick it. Speaking of jewelry, I believe this may have been an add-on or it could have been a choice item. Like I said, I don't remember because it's been so long. I actually think this was a choice item. And this is from the brand Bobble Bar. And this is jewelry as well. These are jewelry extenders. These are for layered necklaces so that the actual layers of the necklace stay single and they don't get all tangled. So these are just jewelry accessories. I do think I might have added this on. I can't remember. I'm so sorry, you guys, but these are a product that I need all the time. My layer necklaces always get tangled, so these types of separators come in really handy. I was so excited about this choice item. This is a shoulder bag, and I am in need of a crossbody bag. I have my Michael Kors purse, which I love, but sometimes I don't have hands for purses. So I was excited to see that this was a crossbody shoulder bag as a choice item. It is so cute. Look at the big long strap so that you can put it cross body. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. It is from the brand Samara and it has a little clip that closes it as well. I'm so excited for this, especially when I'm at the airport for travel. I just never have extra arms for my purse. So I knew that this was something I would choose. And last but not least, my other choice item. I was so excited for this. This is from Lily Pulzer and this is a beach towel. Now, if you didn't know, the community we live in in Arizona, we have five pools as part of our community. And I do not own a beach towel because I never used a beach towel in Washington. There was really no beach, nor did I have access to a pool. This is so beautiful. Look at the pattern. And it is very, very soft. It feels like microfiber, not like a traditional bath towel. This is so perfect for me to take to the pool. I just told Troy today that this next week it's gonna be really hot here. So I'm planning on spending a little bit of time at the pool. I'll just take my laptop and work. Now I have a beach towel and a swimsuit cover up. I love this box. I absolutely love FabFitFun. So that's everything that I chose for my summer box. All of my fun little add-ons. I'm so excited about everything. It's such a nice mix of home, beauty, jewelry, loungewear, beachwear. I mean, it's literally everything, even handbags. Like it is such a great box, such a huge bang for your buck. I'm going to have an afternoon snack. I'm currently in my real estate class and I have a new favorite snack kind of new to me or new that I've been doing, and that's using a rice cake. So I have the organic brown rice ones from Sprouts, but you can really use any rice cake you want. And my new obsession is the American Dream Nut Butter. My friend Amy, when I went to Florida, told me all about this company, and I ordered some, and I love it. I ordered a bunch of their different butters. This one's probably my favorite. This is the One Tough Cookie and it's actually a cashew butter. You can see all the mix-ins. I mean, cookies and M&Ms. It is 155 calories for two tablespoons and it's actually less calories and points than traditional peanut butter. I don't know how they do it, but they did. And then I also grabbed the Yabba Dabba Delicious and this is a peanut butter blend. And this one is pretty good. It has some 
crunchy bits in it and I believe like some peanut butter chips. This one's probably my least favorite flavor. And then the third one that I picked up, I really like this one. This is an almond butter and this is Santa's Magic. And again, there is coconut and chocolate swirl and crunchy bits in there. This one's 160 calories for two tablespoons and this one, Yabba Dabba, is 150. They are so, so good. So I'll link it down below, same link I used with 10% off, but I think today I'm gonna do Santa's magic on my rice cake, and then I think I'll have a string cheese as well. So here's my snack. So I weighed out one tablespoon of the peanut butter. I'm obsessed with it on my rice cake and a cheese stick. For tonight's dinner, I am making huli huli chicken, rice, and then we have some leftover roasted vegetables from the other night that we need to finish up. I'm super excited for this recipe, so let me show you what's in it. First, you're going to need some brown sugar alternative. As always, I use Lakanto Golden. I'll link Lakanto down in the description box for you with 15% off, the best price you're going to find for Lakanto sweetener. You're going to need rice, wine, vinegar, soy sauce, no sugar added ketchup, minced garlic, chicken thighs and fresh ginger. And we are going to pair ours with the Uncle Ben's ready rice and roasted chicken. I love these quick, simple throw in the microwave rice. They are so, so delicious. For the chicken, the first thing we need to do is make up our sauce. So I have half of a cup of Lakanto brown sugar, half of a cup of no sugar added ketchup, half of a cup of soy sauce, and a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar, about a tablespoon of fresh ginger, and a heaping scoop of minced garlic. We are going to go ahead and mix all of that together and that is the sauce for the chicken. We want to reserve about half of a cup of the sauce before we put our chicken into it. I have a six by nine baking dish here. What I'm going to do is take my chicken thighs. Yes, you could probably use chicken breast if you want, but the Huli Huli chicken is supposed to be utilizing chicken thighs. It just is a more tender meat that really soaks up all of the marinade. So I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken in the marinade, pull it out, and place it into the six by nine baking dish. And then you're going to take the remaining sauce and pour it right on top. You want to allow the chicken to marinate, preferably overnight, but at least a couple of hours. So I'm going to pop a lid on this and throw it into the refrigerator. My Imperfect Foods order is here. As you know, I get this every two weeks. This time I actually placed a pretty large order because they had some great products and some really great deals. So let me tell you just a little bit about Imperfect Foods. They are a company that helps prevent food waste by giving us food that would otherwise be thrown away at a reduced price. Honestly, there's not much Imperfect about the foods in the box. Sometimes the produce can be misshapen or have lumps and bumps, but overall the product is just as good as what you would pick up at your local grocery store. So I order from them every two weeks. They have a wide variety of products, everything even from beautiful flowers to produce to meat to cheese to non-dairy. They have just about everything. I will go ahead and link Imperfect Foods down below with $40 worth of free groceries with your first order. So definitely check them out. Let's dig into what I picked up for this order, starting with this bouquet of flowers. They have some of the prettiest flower options, and so whenever I see them as a choice for the order, I always like to grab a set to put on my island. I did grab quite a bit of produce, starting with some cherries. I love cherries. It is cherry season. These were an incredible deal. Also some green onions for a recipe as well as salads. A couple of avocados because I love avocado. You can see that it's a little bit discolored, but it is still not even ripe yet. So they'll have odd little blemishes like this that only affect the produce aesthetically, but it tastes just as good. I also grabbed some mushrooms because I needed mushrooms for a dinner recipe. They have pantry staples as well, and I was out of crispy onions. I love, love, love crispy onions on 
salad. It is the perfect crouton replacement and you get way more than you do for points and calories than croutons. And then I grabbed some quick cook steel cut oats. I have been really getting into oatmeal lately and quick cook is just really, really easy and convenient. Everything that needs to be refrigerated is always under this little flap here and there is always a refrigerated bag and an ice pack. I mean, everything is freezing cold still and I live in Arizona where it's 100 degrees and everything is still nice and cold. I saw these and I was so excited. These are the skinny dipped almonds in strawberry lemonade. I love the skinny dipped almonds and strawberry lemonade sounds so good. I also grabbed some avocado oil. We do need to season our new grill. We did buy a Blackstone grill and we need to season it and I'm almost out of avocado oil so this will last until I can get to Costco. Look how huge these zucchinis are. These are some organic zucchini. We love zucchini. We love to roast it, barbecue it, put it on a kebab. So I did grab three huge zucchinis, a pound of 100% grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. Their meat prices are so good and the meat is super high quality. I also grabbed some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I really like the Imperfect Foods one. Some shredded sharp cheddar cheese. We love shredded sharp cheddar. I share this a lot. This is my favorite non-fat Greek yogurt. I don't know what it is about it, but it is so incredibly delicious. It is grass-fed. This is really expensive at foods like Sprouts and Whole Foods and I think it's $2.99 through Imperfect Foods. I also decided to treat myself to some of these little Unreal. These are like M&M dupes. The Unreal brand just has a little bit better ingredients. The cheesecake bites. This is something I always order. These are Troy's all-time favorite. I also picked up some shredded Mexican style cheese. So I have Mexican style and sharp cheddar. And lastly, a small block of sharp cheddar. Again, our very favorite cheese. So that is everything that I picked up from Imperfect Perfect Foods. This was a pretty good sized order for me. Like I mentioned, I do order from them every two weeks. I love them. I love the mission. I love the company. And don't forget to claim your free $40 worth of groceries and there is no minimum order. We're ready to start cooking the chicken. So I sprayed my pan with some non-stick cooking spray. Go ahead and add in your chicken thighs. And then I'm just going to drizzle that extra sauce right on top. I have it over medium heat and we're going to allow the chicken to cook completely through. The chicken is done. That little bit of sauce that we reserved will drizzle right over the top of it right before serving. So here is my dinner for tonight. I'm really excited about this. I have some of those roasted vegetables that I mentioned. I have some bell pepper, carrots, and asparagus. I have half of a cup of the Uncle Ben's chicken rice, and then one serving, which is two small pieces of the Huli Huli chicken. It makes six servings total. I'll go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate today, going to Weight Watchers, going shopping, opening Fat Fit Fun. We had a really good day. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five days a week and Wednesday is always what I eat in a day. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, as well as links, discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.